Hello fellow bibliophiles and welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. I'm Marissa and today I have a slightly different video on this channel. I was sent a book box, um, which is not usually the type of thing I do, but I was interested in seeing what all the hype about book boxes was. And this one caught my attention because it has a lot of self-care items in it. And who couldn't use a little self-care lately? So I figured I would open it with you. Here we go. Okay, so it comes like this with lots of little paper that is going to get all over the floor. My husband is going to be thrilled with me, but uh, it has this little card that came with it, adult fiction, discovery is the theme for March. And on the back, it tells me everything that will be in the box. So I should not read that to you right now. Let's open the box first. So from what I understand, the stuff in this box is sourced from local artisans um, and small businesses and things like that. Like I said, my husband's gonna love me. So with the majority of the paper removed, this is what is left. Let's see what's inside, shall we? We've got this very gold bag. And it is some hand sanitizer spray. Who couldn't use that right now? I wonder if it smells like anything? It says it has pure essential oils in it. Let's try it out. It smells kind of like cinnamon. I like it. Next, we have something called Scented Stories Co. Castrema smells like smoky vanilla, amber, and surviving the worst. So it's a very cute little candle. Me and my husband love candles and he is going to love this scent. It smells kind of like a nice smoky vanilla, which we actually currently have a candle that smells like smoky vanilla, uh, but it is running out. So this will be perfect for us. And then there is this interesting pouch. This says Sudsy Duck Soapery. It is a bath fizzy. It says it smells like poppies and grapefruit and has shamanic powers, which that I'm not entirely sure what that is supposed to mean, but it seems like a nice relaxing bath salt type thing, which sounds great. I'm trying to see if I can smell it through the bag, but I cannot. Now, I was promised there is a book somewhere in this box, just so you know. Oh, this is beautiful. So this looks like a little journal of sorts. On the front it says, Blink and the years fall away like leaves, which is apparently a quote by V.E. Schwab. Covers nice, and it seems like I can totally customize it myself if I wanted to. Um, and then the inside, it looks like a planner or just a journal of some sort. Well, I'm sure I'll get good use out of that. Actually, I kind of love the back. Yeah. This is fun. There's this little card in here and it has these journal prompts on discovery. How would your best day go? Be descriptive. What's your biggest insecurity? What would life look like if you let it go? So I haven't done this kind of journaling in a very long time, but it seems interesting if you're into that sort of thing. And there's also a photo challenge that you could do on the back if you are into Instagram. And I think it's to promote some of the small businesses. So uh, one of them, for instance, on March 22nd says, use flowers and plants, fake or real, whatever suits your fancy, for inspiration behind a photo of your bath fizzies inspired by the poppy war. Prize a custom bath product from Sudsy Box Soapery. So that's kind of fun that they have all of these themed challenges. I don't think I'll be doing these, but, uh, if you're looking for something to do, I feel like this box definitely provides it. And there is a bookmark from The Magicians. Uh, it says something about break bills. I watched like a season of that show. I know it's based on a book series, but I haven't read the book series. Um, yeah, it's just a 
small paper bookmark. And we also have, oh, it seems like there's a card from an author. It says, in your hands is a tale of alternative history where magic, mystery, and murder take center stage. Inside, you'll find a magic system based on the constellations, a few astrology jokes, a variety of friendships with all their roses and thorns, a blending of history and fantasy, and the best mystery-solving duo around. The Conductors is very special to me. This book is about me embracing all that is just, ugh, sorry, all that interests me and showing that history and the people who live through some interesting times can be viewed under a different light. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I enjoyed writing it. Yours, Nicole Glover. Oh, and it looks like she signed a sticker. Is it a sticker? Yes, she signed a sticker that I can put in the book, which is very nice. There's a little card about supporting small businesses, which is very important right now. Code to save on future orders. That's always exciting. There's a large key, which is kind of strange. It is a pen. And then the book is beautifully wrapped. Very cute. Let's open it. They really saved the book for last in this book box. And it's a beautiful copy of The Conductors, as was promised on the little card that we just looked at first. The back says, from a bold new voice comes a vibrant story of magic and murder set in the aftermath of the Civil War. Hetty Rhodes and her husband, Benji, were conductors on the Underground Railroad, ferrying dozens of slaves to freedom with daring, cunning, and magic that draws its power from the constellations. With the war over, those skills find a new purpose as Hetty and Benji solve mysteries and murders that white authorities would otherwise ignore. In the heart of Philadelphia's Seventh Ward, everyone knows that where there's a strange death or magical curses are causing trouble, Hetty and Benji are the only ones who can solve the case. But when an old friend is murdered, their investigation stirs up a wasp's nest of intrigue, lies, and long-buried secrets. And a mystery unlike anything they've handled before. With a clever, cold-blooded killer on the prowl, Hetty and Benji testing their magic and placing their lives at risk will discover how little they really know about their neighbors and themselves. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty intriguing premise. Um, I like the idea of two um, presumably African-American people who used to be conductors on the uh, Underground Railroad looking into murders and crimes that white authorities have ignored. Not sure how I feel about the magical aspect to this book. That premise actually excites me less, but I'm interested to see how it all comes together. And yeah, it's definitely a book that I haven't heard of before. So thank you for introducing it to me, book box. And it seems like last but not least, there is a sneak peek for April. But I have to say it is not too much of a sneak peek because it just says April 2021 Venom Adult Fiction. April 2021 Power Young Adult Box. So that's uh, not too specific at all. This is a lot of fun. This is a really uh, cool box full of stuff to keep you yourself sane and relaxed. Um, and to promote small businesses. All in all, it seems like a win for me. I don't know if I'll be doing book boxes in the future. It's something I have to uh, think about, but this was a lot of fun to open with you guys, so thank you for joining me, and until next time, I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Bye!